right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Martial arts, it's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his speed, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Effective jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Lands to the body. Early connection with the left from the champ. Good jab. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice kick to the midsection. Some more output, at least in the early going. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, oh man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. It's exactly what we expect from these two. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. 
What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, nice head kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Misses with the left hook. Both guys appeared to land there. Nice body kick. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Just over two minutes to go in round one. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. We need to get out of the Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Choi's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Nice uppercut inside. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Beautiful kick there. Five seconds remain in the round. Choi gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Take down attempt late in the round. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Lee. Making all these shots count. Choi's back in half court. Second round, straight ahead. You ready to fight? Ready. Second Good. round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there. In the he did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Oh, back and forth we go. 
Oh, nice body kick. One, two punch by Choi. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Checks that leg kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. He landed that inside leg kick. Very fast jab, Lance. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Just over three minutes to go. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Straight right hand, no good. Choi gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, so there it is again. He found the range early with the body kick and found the target yet again. I mean, once again, he drills his leg kick to the body. He is doing a great job of maintaining range, staying out of boxing range, but also putting damage on his opponent as he tries to get close. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful job landing that hit kick. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Under a minute to go round two. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Able to rip the body there. Fighters separate from the clinch now. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike, and he knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Guess to the single power time now. Two rounds in the books. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. That's the pace we're talking about. That's the cardio that I'm used to seeing right there, just like in training. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight.
All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful kick. Well, as we pull up the numbers at the bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Check that last one. Oh, big elbow. Looked like that body kick got home. The fighters separate. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh! Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Nice work here on the clinch by Lee. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Forward, forward, forward. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really starting to become a factor. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent, he got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now they're starting to pay dividends. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, he got him holding the target very quickly. Tries to take out the leg, beautiful leg kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked about the Anderson Silva situation. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee calling in the doctor at some point. But at some point, you gotta take a look at it. He's so bruised, he's so battered, he's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing? Or oh! Seconds winding down in round three. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, 
Right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Take a deep breath, Relax. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee's really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Whoa! Feels like the beginning of the end. Awesome separation. Huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh! Oh! All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Choice in half guard. Oh, right into mount. Massive target on the side of his face with all that swelling. And his opponent smartly continues to attack it. It Watch looks that. like the referee is going to call in the position to take a look. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound. That's it! Do ho joy! <laughs> Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime. We'll see just how far he can take.